After several years of treating a patient for heartburn, a doctor finally performed more comprehensive tests and discovered that the man had had cancer all along. An expert at trial testified that the patient had had a less than 50% chance of surviving at the time of his first visit to the doctor. The court in Matsuyama v. Birnbaum had to decide whether he could recover for a reduction in already poor odds under the loss of chance doctrine. Kimiyoshi Matsuyama was 42 the first time he saw his new primary care physician, Neil Birnbaum. Matsuyama had a history of stomach problems. He had lived in Asia for much of his life and was a smoker, which increased his risk for stomach cancer. Birnbaum didn't order any tests and diagnosed Matsuyama with heartburn. Over the next four years, Matsuyama returned with repeated complaints about gastric distress and moles developing on his skin. A test for the bacteria that causes ulcers and other gastrointestinal diseases came back positive, but Birnbaum still didn't order more detailed tests. Finally, Matsuyama showed up with serious stomach problems and sudden weight loss. Birnbaum ordered tests that revealed stomach cancer. Matsuyama died shortly after this diagnosis. Matsuyama's wife, Robin, sued Birnbaum for wrongful death and negligence. Her expert testified that, in light of Matsuyama's many risk factors and troubling symptoms, Birnbaum should have suspected stomach cancer and ordered tests at the outset, when the condition might have been curable. Due to Birnbaum's negligence, Matsuyama lost a chance to be treated successfully at an earlier stage. The jury found that Matsuyama had had a 37.5% chance of survival when he first saw Birnbaum, and that Birnbaum's negligence was a substantial contributing factor in his death. It awarded damages for negligence and loss of chance of survival. Birnbaum appealed, arguing that loss of chance was not recognized by the Massachusetts wrongful death statute.